Hi well, ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, BCRR finally coming to you with an update, a uh, layout update. I've uh, been hard at work this weekend and I um, figured it's time to give you guys an update what's going on. So, got my shelving brackets in. Um, just as a reminder, the room is 13 by 13, 1 inch by 9 feet three inches. Uh, last time I talked about picking up new Ikea shelves. These are them. Those are not my ponies. Those are my wife's. Don't judge me. And um, yeah, so we're here and uh, through the magic of the internet, one second. And like magic, framework of the layout is up. Uh, so went with quarter inch uh, pine and then for my cross supports for the long gaps um, these are nice pieces of hemlock nice and straight. Sorry for the bright light it's still the only light we got for this room. Uh, those doors are going to come out and then we're going to just have a curtain there so we can still use the closet completely. And currently what I'm working on is uh, the bridge here. So how this is going to happen, most likely, is that a second piece will be mounted like so. And it'll sit on top and it'll wedge together and I'll have some electrical hookups and it'll just be a simple pop in, pop out. Alright, come back to you real soon. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and once again, due to the magic of internet, board work is done. Yep, pretty excited. Uh, Kent came over today and we finished up the board work. And I had Greg, aka West Coast Rails, over last week on Wednesday. And we came over and finalized um, my track plan. Uh, the previous plan that I had was to model from golden to field through the kicking horse. It would have been fantastic, but unfortunately I went with a terribly great system of these racks and uh, those jerks right there, they got in the way of the risers. Um, one, one way worked, um, going up the grade, but coming down through the back it unfortunately did not. Um, so these risers here are the Woodland Scenic, of course. They are 4%. They are quite steep. But um, that's what I required to uh, have the last layout design work. Unfortunately, I had bought 2% and returned them. And I was lucky enough that they let me take them back. This time, the packages are fully open and uh, no more returns. So over here, we have 4% with the track on it. And then, right in here, is 2%. So what I did is I just cut it at the relative, relatively correct spot and mounted the track on there. And uh, I was driving my Canadian up and down there to see if it will go up that 2% grade to the 4% grade, and it did perfect. Uh, added the extra long couplers and uh, the cars go around 26 radius perfectly so the inside track will be 26 radius and I will show you the plan now the plan is slightly incorrect I got a little too excited and down here this track actually is supposed to connect to this track this track connects to this track so a little too excited but uh, this is it. It's a figure eight folded in on itself with um, a center yard and the potential to have the track come out again as well just to really screw everything up. Alright, so that is my update. Um, oh, one other thing. I've mocked up some track. So this is a little three track staging yard and uh, not staging yard but a uh, you know what it is. My Canadian fits on it and that's what matters. Alright everybody. Next time I have a video, 
there will be track and trains running. Have a good one. Bye-bye. Still not my ponies.